doing out here? Hey, Millie. <laughs> Waiting for my mom to get off her shift at the pharmacy. Drawing. I got a new journal after I left the old one somewhere. <laughs> See? Did you get home okay last night? Yeah. I bike everywhere. It's not like anything scary bad happens in Basswood. At least not normally. Um, any word on my dad? Did you really look into it? I haven't found anything yet. I don't think. Let me know if you find anything. Please. I feel like I need something. It's just this town, you know? This place. It feels like I'm suffocating. I can't breathe. I can't think. I can't stand my mom. I don't like school. Well, except for science. And just... When I imagine myself in the future, I just don't... I don't know. I don't see this place. Or these people. I'm somewhere else. Anywhere else. I know it's stupid, just... It's not stupid. If you want, you can go anywhere in the world. Have adventures, fall in love. I mean, that's what I've been told anyway. Gross. Okay, well that other stuff sounds okay though. Thanks for listening. I got grown up stuff I gotta do. I've got kid stuff I gotta see about. So we're both busy. It's tough seeing her like this. Seems she got older by six years in just two. Joe. Sam? You old bridge jumper, how you been? What's the calendar say? Two years, Joe. It's been two years. Too long. Heard you showed up yesterday. Boys give you trouble? <laughs> they might have given me a bit of a welcome back. After the mine closed, well, it ain't easy to put food on the table. Don't let that weigh on you. No one else has lost their legs recently. So, how have you been holding up? Terribly. But Anna keeps me young. How'd you ever let her get away? Uh, you probably know better than me. I heard all about it. Still, I always liked you. Straight shooters are a rare breed these days. I like a man that can look me in the eye and say what he means. You haven't seen Dennis today, have you? I wish. Just about the only guy I could talk hockey with. Not football? I want to talk football. I could just grab anybody on the street. Dennis actually enjoys a man sport. But no, I haven't seen him. I noticed you weren't at the bar last night. Went home after the service. Being crippled takes it out of you. Normally, I'd be rotting away in my recliner, but I like to come out, see the decorations, pay my respects to old iron here. This town's been a mining town before I was born, and it'll be one after I die. It's good to get out and celebrate your roots every now and then. I don't have the same perspective on Miner's Day that other people have. No, I suppose you wouldn't. I have places I need to be, but it's good to see you. Just promise you won't wait two years before saying boo again. <laughs> I'll do my best. Joe has no idea where Dennis went. Someone must have seen him after the fight. No luck so far, but I should keep digging around. Someone must have seen Dennis.
I don't imagine Walter had obituaries in mind when he became editor-in-chief. Remember when this whole celebration used to be twice as big? Back when this town wasn't just a dead horse we all keep kicking. Why do we even bother with this old place? It feels like a ghost town sometimes. Except the ghosts that ever bothered leaving. Hey. Don't remember seeing you in town before. Passing by? I was born in Basswood. I was raised in Basswood, though I left for a few years. When you managed to leave and still came back? You'd never see me again if I left. Why don't you then? Yeah, sure. I'm just gonna take my millions of dollars and make a run for it. I can barely get by. Like everyone else here. Too poor to stay. Too poor to leave. Now, I can't just have you hanging around here all day like a ghost. It's a free country. Hey, don't give me that. People have been complaining, so don't let me see you here again. You fascist. What you just... I'm just doing my job. It's nothing personal. Looks like you're not the only one who started off on the wrong foot today. Sorry you had to see that. Some people you just can't reason with. Speaking of, you're still in town. That person you were talking to? Who's that? A lost soul. Vagrancy isn't a crime, but loitering and trespassing are. I try to be understanding, polite, but it's hard when no one is polite back. People call you pig or fascist just for doing your job. Then they go and do things like deface the whole town. And I'm the asshole? It could get under your skin. Where's... Where's you at, day after day? It grinds you down. It makes you feel like you've been lifting logs all day. Yeah, sorry about that. I went off for a spell. Huh? Just remember, this town don't always respect the things you do. Trust me, I know. You haven't seen Dennis today, have you? Why are you looking for him? I wanted to apologize for last night. I'll just stay out of his way for a day or two. I heard you messed up Dennis pretty good last night. I'm not judging. His head's full of smoke. It takes a while to clear it out. I don't want to keep you, officer. Have a good day. Keep your nose clean. No luck so far, but I should keep digging around. Someone must have seen Dennis. Maybe Kathy will know something. Or that new pharmacist. Perfect toy for a kid who only had imaginary friends.
Yo, get out the way. You move. I'm the one coming in. Shh, fuck you. That's enough. Kathy and Hugh were both at the wake. I should talk to them. Ah, oh, Samuel. Sorry about Richard. He's always a little on edge. I'm surprised to see you up and about after the night you had. Honestly, <laughs> I was afraid you'd end up like your friend. You were quite inebriated. Honestly, I don't remember last night. You saw me blackout drunk. Not my finest hour. I would say not. After your barroom brawl. I did my best to prevent you from following that other man outside. And I tried to get you to hand over your keys. But you would have none of it. Sorry about that. The man I had a fight with, Dennis. Have you seen him today? Seen him? No. No, can't say I have. Thanks anyways. That article you wrote, it's done this town a lot of good. How do you figure? The mine was a band-aid on a torn artery. Sometimes, doing what is unpopular is still the moral choice. You probably believe that. I'd offer you something for that hangover, but I find in some cases, time is the best medicine. A pill pusher who doesn't want to push pills. That's a new one. Everything is poison. All that matters is the dose. Now you have a good one, young man. Was there anything else you needed, by the way? I have to ask, why move here, of all places? You know, here, Basswood. A blink and you miss this town. People move out of Basswood, not in. The town I used to work in had a hundred other pharmacies in it. Oh, you'd make sales. But you don't get to know anyone, ever. Plus, if I'm being honest, I always imagined I'd retire in a small mountain town. Samuel, I saw you talking to Walter. Can you ask him something from me? Sure thing. What is it? I knew I could count on you. I was hoping the Basswood Jungle could run a piece about me. You see, some of the older folks see me as an outsider still. Can't say I'm surprised. I'll try and remember to ask next time I talk to him. I really appreciated the chat, but I'm afraid it's time I get back to work. Do come see me again. He looks like those doctors you see on commercials. Kathy. Yo, oh, Sam. What can I do you for? So, the wake. I, um... Uh, none of us were on our best behavior. Nick would have been happy you showed up, no matter how anything else went. I left early myself to go check on Joan. Did you have to say that fantasy about her father being murdered was real? That's not what I... I just want her to be a little girl, not a little Sam Higgs, sneaking around and getting into trouble. And now all she can talk about is how you're going to prove that she's right. Sorry. I know it's not your fault, but I just don't... I don't... I don't know what to do with her. She 
she's my daughter. And I feel like I'm losing her. I gotta go. If the boss sees me jawing instead of working, I'll get an earful. No one in here was much help. I hope you'll stay for the festivities, Sam. Oh, Sam, you here to pick up something for your, uh, condition? I have a condition? Yeah, the one that makes you the way you're always so... you? It's all right, of course. I won't tell anyone. I think I might actually have leaky gut. It's where your intestine starts to dissolve, and your half-digested food starts to leak out into your blood. I'm trying to find something for it, and if it doesn't help, can't hurt. I'm glad someone took over this whole drugstore. Can you imagine? This town without a pharmacy would be like, well, me with a hole in my gut. <laughs> I'll just check the internet when I get home. It'll tell me what to get. It was nice talking to you, Tara. Oh, yes, <laughs> always. I'll be fine. Just waiting for my mom's shift to end. Normally I do. No luck so far, but I should keep digging around. Someone must have seen Dennis. Ah, now I've gone and made a bit of a mess. Oh, Sam, is that you? Dear, please, could you help an old doddering woman? You are many things, but not doddering. Plotting, maybe. Sam, you shouldn't say such things, even if they're true. Okay, Muley, for two points. What is the name of the pink pony on the animated cartoon show, Prancers? The super cool one I was telling you about the other day? You know, my favorite? Uh, Polly. Polly Pony? No, that's her sister. She's totally different. Then what is her name? I'm not telling. What if the card comes up again? You really like to win, huh, Bug? All right, coffee for you and hot chocolate for the young... Is that a comic about monsters? It's about Tardigrade Man. 
He can survive almost anything. His only weakness is his own emotions. He's based on the microscopic tardigrades. It has eight legs and can survive star radiation. Huh. Well, it doesn't seem like the kind of thing a young woman should be reading. She says she's going to be an entomologist. What can you do? I am going to be an entomologist. I'm going to study every bug, especially the crawlies. But tardigrade isn't a bug. It's a micro-animal. Well, good for you. Sounds like just what a young woman like you should be reading. So, uh, can we play this again tomorrow, maybe? We can play as often as you want. You promise? Yeah, I promise. Pinky swear? If you break those, you go to hell. I don't think you're supposed to be using that language. You can't break this! No matter what. You're real intense for a kid, you know that? Say it! I won't break the pinky swear, no matter what. Thank you so much. You're always such a dear. Say, Christina, have you... Oh, Sam, it's been years. It really is so nice to see you again. Yeah, likewise, but... I wanted to come to the funeral yesterday, but just thinking about it, oh, dear. Now, I know you want to interrupt her because I want to interrupt her. So eyes on me, buddy. Happy thoughts, deep breaths. Yeah, well, uh, speaking of the... Poor Joan. Losing her father at such a young age. Oh, what a tragedy. I was trying to find one of those games she likes so much to cheer her up. Poor child only has Kathy now, and, well, far from me to criticize or anything, but uh, these last few months, Kathy hasn't been all there, if you know what I mean. Hopefully this tragedy will be a wake-up call for her to be more present. She should take a few weeks off to be with Joan. I know you would never refuse. Don't you agree? Yeah, of course. I'm sure if poor Kathy would only ask him for the time. Ah, but look at me. I talk and talk and talk, but you had something to say, didn't you? Have you seen Dennis today? Dennis? No, it's odd, actually. He usually stops in here Sunday mornings. Like how you and Nick used to come over from the paper with Anna every Friday. You three always seem so happy. Oh, but you, Sam, how have you been doing? It's been, well, you know cruise control? I've been on cruise control. You might miss it once it's gone. Life rarely lets you coast for long. You look well. I've been better, hung over this morning. You know what's good for that? Coffee. I know, Christina. Not right now. I gotta go. Anna's here. I should talk to her. The cost. Right, so the overhead would You seem real engrossed. Oh, I'm sorry, hon. Just balancing the books. Or trying to. How you doing? You managed to keep the books balanced? About as well balanced as a snake with four balls. <laughs> that sounds uncomfortable, at the very least. <laughs> Something my grandfather used to say. Still don't know what it means. But it works in almost any situation. Anyway, the past is the past. I just accepted a big business opportunity, which makes tidying up my books in time extra important, even if it kills me. Who'd be crazy enough to invest in Basswood now? A good man, that's who. Have you met Hugh Kirkland already? The new pharmacist. He's helping me with a few improvements. Angel investing. Can you believe it? I actually can't. What did he ask for in return? Oh, dear. I can't believe you're so cynical at your age. People in small towns do help each other. Every now and again. That's not just something that happens on made-for-TV movies. I feel strange being back here. I don't think I've been in your cafe in a while. 
Almost two and a half years. Anna kept coming in, but, but you stopped. You noticed that? I could tell you two dears weren't gonna make it. it broke my heart. It sounds like you knew before I did. Gotta have one eye on the customer and one eye on the books. Not that I really want to keep an eye on the books, mind you. It's just been a bit slow the last few years. All over town, really. It's just a rough patch. People will adapt. They just need time. It's not always easy to look on the bright side when you're trying to make it through. But you know us. We always make it through. For example, I thought we'd never have another miner's day. But here we are. You still have Basswood's best coffee? Ah, oh, honey, you know we've never had that. That's over at the police station. Bess takes her coffee very seriously. Puts mine to shame. She pays out of pocket for real high-end stuff. I'd never make the margins work. Not that my margins have been cutting it lately. Hmm. I say, hun, would you mind if I finish this? Oh yeah, of course. Good luck with your book balancing. Mm-hmm. Not very inspired. Hey man, thought I knew everyone, but I don't know you. I used to be a regular a few years ago. Oh right, you're one of those who skipped town when the mine closed down. You could say that, yes. Town ain't changed much since then. Same old boring basswood. I know most people hate that, but I don't. It's quiet here. It's nice. So quiet, there's no rush hour, I guess. Right? Hey man, my break's over. I gotta focus on work. Sam! Glad you came. Of course. I said I would. I can still be glad about it. So, uh, I hear you got in a fight after I left the wake? I was so wasted at that point, it's all just a big, heavy blur. Yeah. After saying I didn't want to drink, I went home and drank. Long night. Yeah. Sounds about right. We all deal with stress in our own ways. I apparently hit Dennis. Yeah, speaking of, you haven't seen him today, have you? Why? Afraid your powerful blows laid him up? So, what are you working on? <laughs> I'm working on an article on how nature does its best to reclaim the land after a strip mining operation. Why are you looking for Dennis? I can tell something has you spooked. I can always tell. Go on. Tell her. You could honestly use a non-imaginary person to confide in. She might slow me down or try to involve the cops. She might do those things, yes, or she might be someone who you can trust, who can help. I woke up today and my shirt was covered in blood. Blood? What happened? I don't know. Last night, pills and alcohol mixed. It's all a blur. That's why I'm looking for Dennis. Have you tried the Basswood Jungle? He likes to work weekends. No, not yet. I'll do that right now. Sam, is there anything I can do to help? Oh, uh, nah. I'm just gonna do my own thing. <laughs> oh, Sam. What have you done?
Still gotta check the basswood jungle. Hopefully Dennis is working today. Locked. I should check the back. My, my, my. Look what we got here. Showing your face in town again. I thought you were smarter than that. But I'm glad we ran into you. We have unfinished business after all. Joel, look. Careful. I don't want to have this conversation again. We clear? Crystal, we're good. Good. De Declan's right down the street. This is a small town. There's not enough room for you in it. been a while. This place used to be my home, or at least felt like it. Where is Dennis? He should be in here. Dennis! Dennis. What happened? Who... Is that how I got blood on me? Did I? Do this, Sam. When you focus, you can think through any problem. Sam, no, don't think about that. Don't let it in. Almost had it.
This is Dennis's office. There must be some clues around. Sam, keep it together. You can solve this. Figure this out before Dennis dies again and the panic overwhelms you. Chest wound. What kind of weapon did this? Blood sprayed on the desk from the injury. But I need more to go on. The chair is pretty far away from the desk. But I don't think that's important. Chest wound. What kind of weapon did this? to go on. I need something useful. Chest wound. What kind of weapon did this? Blood sprayed on the desk from the injury. But I need more to go on. Chest wound. What kind of weapon did this? Gunshot. The bullet went clean through. The killer must have been close. Where did the bullet go? The bullet stopped here. Small caliber like Dennis's gun. I need to find that gun. The gun is gone. He had it earlier. Where did it go? The shooter used Dennis's gun, but I didn't have it this morning. And how did I get the blood on me? The blood pooled where Dennis fell, so the body was moved. If I moved it, that's how the blood got on my shirt. Picture now. Blood on the shirt was Dennis's, but I didn't kill him. I found him dead. Blackout drunk, panicked. I stumbled to my car. Luckily, I ended up back at the hotel and not wrapped around a pole. Now, I know I didn't do it. The police, though, may not feel the same way. I need to search the area. See if I can find out why someone would murder Dennis. I need to find out why Dennis was killed. It may have something to do with Nick. Dennis's computer is still signed in. Seems like a good place to start.
Emails between Nick and Dee. They're talking in codes. Nothing stated clearly. They didn't want to risk anyone learning of their meetings. Smart. Someone was watching. Whatever Nick was looking into seemed big, but he said it fizzled out. The puzzle comes together. Dennis was reading everyone's emails. He found out that Nick hadn't stopped his investigation like he'd told Walter and that Nick was still talking to some informant. Then he decided to tell me. And now he's dead. I need to look through any notes Nick left in his office and check Walter's computer. They have to have something for me to go on. Nick must have left some notes behind somewhere. Walter also might have something on Nick's work. I should look around. A lot of junk in here, but none of it is useful to me. something around here that hints at Walter's password. Ugh. My heart's desire. It could mean a person, but also a place. Ugh. My heart's desire. It could mean a person, but also a place. Walter was never tech-savvy. He just uses words that mean something to him. There's a good chance there's a clue in his office. just after Anna came on, and we really were a small clan. He loves all his first editions, but Alice in Wonderland always came out on top. Wouldn't be surprised if that was his password. Walter had this article framed after he saw the boost in traffic the Haven got. Basswood is his blood and soul. Wouldn't surprise me if he said it as his password. Prin never looked happy a day in her life. Been Walter's cat for years. Maybe he set her name as his password. That's not it. I had to keep looking.
And I'm in. Let's see what secrets you got in here, Walter. Mostly standard so far, by the book. I see why Walter wasn't worried. Wait, that doesn't make sense. Nick would never drive without his seatbelt on. And he always kept his window open. The car really burned, though that's very uncommon in most crashes. So, Walter got the police report from Bess. Nick was supposedly drunk at the wheel, which doesn't sound like him. And his seatbelt was off and his windows up, which both sound very wrong. Walter seemed to buy it, but I don't know if I do. I think it's time I check Nick's office. Hope he still leaves his notes out. Nick's computer is missing. Took it home to work or stolen. The only thing she cared about then was looking at bugs and drawing them. Nick wouldn't mind if I kept this for old time's sake. Valid question, still not sure. They don't even work here anymore. Someone should really clean up this board. They don't even work here anymore. Someone should really clean up this board. If I had the code, I could get in here. What were the odds? Nick always kept extensive records of his work. He was almost obsessive. How could there be so little information regarding his last investigation? Nick was looking into the impact the closure of the mine had on Basswood. What was he looking for? Nick was traveling all over. Train tickets, hotel bills, out of state even. He was tracking something, or someone. Nick had a contact. Same name as in the email. He was onto something big. What Nick was looking into was something big and dangerous. It's why he was so careful. So, did you come to the logical conclusion to this mess we're in? 
Just a hint. We should get out of town immediately. Dennis tried to talk to me about Nick, and that's what got him killed. Exactly. Like I said, you should get out of town. And the details of Nick's death, it doesn't sound like him. Two years is a long time, Sam. He may have changed more than you know. Changed decade-long habits? I need to go to the crash site. Just remember, if you're right... Sam? What's happening? Dennis. That's Dennis. What happened? Is he... Anna, I is listen he... to me. You need to be here with me and listen to what I have to say. Oh my god, no. It's... How could this happen? He died last night. Hours ago. Not much we can do right now. He asked me to meet him here after, but I was so drunk I arrived late. And the person that actually showed up killed him. Your bloody shirt was clearly from this. That means you were here yesterday. It links you to the crime scene. And you've been running around town all morning asking about Dennis. It won't look good. We need to call the police. They'll think I killed him. I thought I did it first. I have no alibi. This is not about you. Dennis had a family. They have to know what happened. It's the right thing to do. Do you want Walter to find his body come Monday? She has a point. Someone is gonna find him eventually. Involving the police would only slow us down. I'll be more efficient on my own. Efficient and possibly friendless. You've already trusted Anna once. I suggest you keep on that road. Not that phone. Use one of the landlines here and don't leave your name. You remember I'm a journalist, right? I know how to keep things confidential. Also, I think whoever did this might be linked to Nick's accident. This is about Nick? The crash? I'm going to the crash site to confirm my suspicions. I'm going with you. I don't know if that's a good idea. You trusted me before. It's only fair I do the same for you. I'll call the cops from here so they can't track us. All right. Here we are. It barely looks like anything happened. It's been a week, but we'll find something. I know we will. Is it okay if I stay here? I don't think I'm ready to- Sure. I doubt I'll be good company anyway. You mean you're over-focused to the point of non-reactive thing? I remember, especially how you always end up being right somehow. I hope. I don't know what I'm hoping for. Yeah, me neither. This is the place. get to the bottom of this. First, gather the clues. Cold, hard, plain facts. That's the only way I'll know what really happened. Debris from Nick's car. Police didn't clean up very well. The car went up like kindling. It was pretty intense, judging the damages to the area. The bark got badly burned. Must be where Nick crashed.
Maybe Nick tried to avoid this log. It's a bit far from the road. An animal came through here. Maybe that's what surprised Nick. But the tracks don't reach the road. Fuel stain. From Nick's car? Was it leaking fuel? Nick took this turn every day. It shouldn't have surprised him. The tire tracks clearly show where Nick's car went off the road. The fire shouldn't have been able to spread that far. That piece of wood must be from one of the damaged road signs. No skid marks, no trace of sudden braking. Two of the road signs were torn out. Did Nick's car do that? That's all the information I need. Time to put everything together. The report states Nick was driving under the influence of alcohol. He was startled by an animal. drove through a road sign before crashing into a tree. Things don't add up. One simulation fits the evidence. The police report was wrong.
I thought you quit. I did. So, did you find anything? Nick, he was murdered. I'm sorry, I don't... The police report was clearly wrong. Fucking... Anna? Here, just... Joe, it's Sam. Where's Anna? Is she okay? Yeah, she's right here. She's just a bit busy. I need her to come back immediately. There's been a break-in at her place. What? Are you all right? What happened? I wasn't there when it happened. Just arrived. Called the police, then called my daughter. We're on our way. Someone broke into your house. Okay, so, about Dad. Don't tell him what we found. Please, it'd just worry him for no reason. How are you holding up? After finding out what we found out. I'm guessing about as well as you. Not great. Let me go calm my father down. I'm pretty sure he's ready to call the National Guard. Anna, maybe give her a few moments with Joe before you barge in. Also, take a few moments for yourself, as well. You used to live here, and now, some other guy, Nick, of all people, was living here. With her. Things are different. She's different. You're different. I think I can handle this. Hopefully. Keep in mind, Sam, no matter how much you want to, you can never go home again. 